first day of grade eight, I remember exactly what I was wearing. First day of grade eight, walked into the halls. The floors were all gleaming and shiny. It was super early in the morning and I was just so excited to start school. Well, I stepped into this uh, building and it was just enormous and there were staircases all over the place. I had no idea where to go. I came to the school and the bell for, to go to class went ding, ding, ding. And that was very different than our elementary school, so I just remember hanging out in the hallway not knowing that I should go to class until I saw empty hallways and I was late for my first class. I think starting high school it was both sort of scary and exciting. High school yeah. was scary, yeah. something new, and I was a little afraid. I was so nervous and I didn't want to ask for any help. I was going to a high school where all my brother's friends were in grade 12 and they liked to have a good time with me. Um, so that meant sometimes giving me a hard time, but in a good way. Grade 8 was awesome. I remember it like it was yesterday, although it was 30-something years ago. One of my biggest experiences being a child in high school in the 80s uh, was the giant hair and some of the ridiculous fashion. So I do remember a lot of that. I also remember joining everything and being really happy that I did. I remember being involved in lots of different clubs, lots of different sports, being a real part of high school and a real member of high school. I guess my favorite memory in high school is probably playing sports. I was on lots of sports teams and uh, the traveling and the fun and the friendship. I loved the academic side of things. I was always a good student who enjoyed studying, enjoyed homework. I was kind of a curious kid. I was always the one with kind of my hand up in the air wanting to know the answers to things. I was, I hadn't hit a growth spurt yet. I was shy, small. Struggled a little bit socially. I was kind of nerdy, a little bit of an outcast in that way but still had a great time and really got to develop a sense of who I was as an individual. I loved some of the freedom that came with it. I remember feeling different from elementary school because we could do things that seemed so grown up. I went to boarding school, so I lived with all my friends and that was my family, yeah. Grade eight for me was the best three years of my life. I remember the inside of the locker. I spent a lot of time there. Um, had my head flushed down the toilet many times but survived, and I survived to become very successful, so successful that I'm now able to teach you. My advice for you is to get involved with something at school. Join a club, join a team, do some kind of service, get involved in your school, and you will see that high school will be a lot more fun. Get involved, like find something that you're interested in, whether it be a sports team or a club. Enjoy your life in high school and join as many clubs as you can. And just get involved in the school and then you get to feel at home faster and to meet new people. Be willing to try new things. Get uncomfortable and just try. You don't take yourself so seriously and probably say yes to more things. Um, be less afraid to try new things. Never be afraid to ask questions. Choose your friends wisely because they can last a lifetime. Try to be as friendly and as respectful with everybody as you can and assume that everyone is uh, just there to try to get along with you. The time that you have and the freedom that you have right now, it might go away in the future. So enjoy, have fun, go outside, enjoy the life and the opportunity you have. Join a lot of stuff, things you might have never thought about that really could change the course of what you're interested in and maybe even career paths. But at the same time, don't worry about career paths. You got your whole life to work. Enjoy being in the building and really with each other. And get to know people that you might not normally get to know and, and, and try to make friends that you normally wouldn't make and try to have multiple groups of friends. And uh, You have eight different teachers and you need to be on top of it a little bit. And you can't be shy, you need to go ask questions and make sure that you get clarification. You need to be organized. You need to be responsible and you need to be involved. Attend all classes on time, keep up and do their work, and ask for help if they need any. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it, and always round to two decimal places when in doubt. Get your best outfit on, do your hair, do whatever you need to do to make yourself look as good as possible. Have someone take a photograph of you, take that picture, put it in an envelope, 
and write on it, open up in 20 years. You're also going to write on the envelope inside the picture, oh my goodness, what was I thinking? That's a good thing to do. Just be kind to your classmates. Be kind to the people in this building because uh, they're going to be with you for the next five years. The adults in this building are here for you. So get to know us and let us help you. Let us help you when you're struggling. Let us celebrate with you when amazing, wonderful things are happening in your lives. We want to support you. And probably the most important thing, whatever you do, do not believe a single word that Mr. Starr says. Grade 8 is a year for fun, for enjoyment, for you to get connected to high school, for you not to do dumb things like I did in grade 8. I think grade 8 was also the year I decided that I would make a good principal because I spent a lot of time in the principal's office myself.